excellent summit. My thanks to President Charles Michel, our fellow colleagues from uh, the African Union. I think that after five years, this was really a timely occasion that we all convene here in Brussels, heads of state and government from the European Union and the African Union and a number of institutions. Yesterday, we had several panels. Uh, I was participating in the one dealing with the climate change, uh, with the energy, interconnectivity. I think it is important that in this global thrive, which we are all doing, and that is to reduce the emissions, which uh, in turn, it's the excessive emissions, of course, impact our climate, impact our way of life, have an influence on the costs of living, on the quality of life, cause uh, in the future migrations, cause consequences that can lead to poverty or chaos. It's important that we emphasize the role and the assistance that we should provi provide to the African continent. In that respect, uh, today we shall continue with other panels and I will give a contribution during the panel on health, especially in the context of the pandemic of COVID-19. So far, the European Union has pledged 700 million uh, doses of vaccine for Africa. Croatia already donated uh, more than 700,000. Today in the afternoon, once I go back to Zagreb, at the government session, we shall donate more than uh, 550,000 so as to provide our contribution. I think the fight against <coughs> COVID-19 will only be successful if it is universally su successful, and that means across the globe. So very happy that we had this opportunity and that uh, political security, sustainable development, climate, energy, migration and health uh, dossiers were on the table. And I think that the conclusions are already agreed and they will remain as a document uh, that will describe what we have done here in February 2022. You're talking about the contributions that you're giving to help the African continent to get the vaccinations, but what, isn't it time to, to rate the patients? Is this really enough what the European Union is doing there? Well, the constant increase of donations uh, is a case. We have been now with the vaccine for just over a year, and I think the European Union has proved to be the largest exporter of vaccines, uh, the largest contributor for the development aid, humanitarian aid, and in this context also the vaccines. So this is something that was clearly agreed. The notion of solidarity, which is the backbone of the European project, should be extended in our relationship with Africa in this case. I'm sorry? What about the patent waivers? Is this a well, discussion? There is a discussion. I think every contribution that uh, those who produce vaccines can put forward as a step forward, which could facilitate the production and the distribution of the vaccine, is more than welcome. Yeah. Pa bio je jako dobar ovaj summit EU i Afrička unija, Afrička unija koja postoji u zadnjih 20 godina, koja se u institucionalnom smislu poprilično naslanja na povijest razvoja Evropske unije. Činjenica danas je ovdje preko stotinu delegacija, govori o veličini ovoga skupa, dakle ne samo države nego i međunarodne organizacije, svi su praktički danas ovdje u Briselu. Poruka cijelog ovoga samita je da moramo pridati veliku pozornost Africi, to je najbrže rastući kontinent i u demografskom smislu. Ono što se događa u Africi reflektirat će se u cijelom svijetu, a reflektirat će se naročito u Europi. I zato su paneli od političkih sigurnosnih pitanja, migracija, klimatskih promjena, energetike, danas zdravstva, održivog razvoja, dobrog upravljanja, borbe protiv korupcije, pokrili cijeli niz tema. Ja sam jučer bio na panelu za klimatske promjene, jutro ću sudjelovati na ovom koji se odnosi na zdravstvo. U kontekstu pandemije COVID-19, Europska unija je već dala 700 milijuna doza cijepiva Africi. Hrvatska je za sada dala više od 700 tisuća doza. Danas ćemo na sjednici vlade imati još jednu odluku o više od 500 tisuća doza. Dakle, svako od nas sukladno svojim mogućnostima daje doprinos. Borba protiv pandemije koja jest pandemija pa je globalna može biti uspješna samo ako uspješna u cijelom svijetu, a zato je potrebna potpora afričkim zemljama. U svakom slučaju je jedan jako kvalitetan summit i mislim da je dobro da se organizira. Eto, thank you very much.
Russia offensive. Yes. Do you um, agree with President Biden that there is a very high threat that Russia will invade Ukraine within the coming days? Well, we are all, uh, I would say, following with great interest every information that comes. Our position yesterday during the uh, quick informal meeting which we had was that uh, we should first remain united. This is critical, the positions of the EU member states and NATO. Second, we should give an emphasis and do everything we can in order to uh, utilize all the diplomatic channels for the peaceful de-escalation of the situation. Third, that we stand by Ukraine. And of course, the most important one, this is what I emphasize, that we stand behind our values. What do we stand for? We stand for the respect of the principles of international law, respect of sovereign countries, cooperation rather than conflict. And this is essential. So we shall follow uh, with a lot of attention every piece of information or intelligence that, that comes and analyze it and adequately react. Ha situacija konflikta niskog intenziteta je stalno prisutna na istoku Ukrajine, dakle od 2014. i Donetski i Luganski i naravno Krim, sve su to područje Ukrajine gdje se non stop puca. Dakle, ako pogledamo ma nešto manje od 15 tisuća poginulih do sada u Ukrajini u zadnjih 8 godina, dio tih ljudi je poginuo ne samo kada je bilo najintenzivnije 14. nego godinama i kasnije. A ovakve situacije treba analizirati da li je riječ o nekim provokacijama koje bi eventualno mogle biti iskorištene kao pretekst za neku ozbiljnju akciju. To je ključ, ali evo, mi želimo mir, želimo deeskalaciju sukoba, želimo dogovore između Ukrajine, Rusije, svih formata od Normandijskog, OSS-a, pa i diplomatskih napora koje svi poduzimamo. Zato u konačnici, evo, ja sam bio u Kijevu i prije nego što su odlazili drugi lideri, jer smo procijenili da se situacija, da će ići u ovom smjeru i da trebamo poslati poruke partnerstva, solidarnosti i prijateljstva. Ministar je vanjskih poslova, zato je bio u Rusiji također da pošalje poruku sa strane Hrvatske da situaciju treba smiriti. Hvala vam. Vidimo se poslije. Bye bye.